I am Minare Pakistan. I stand where the father of this nation stood eight decades ago, addressing 100,000 Muslims demanding a separate homeland for the first time. I can still feel the ground rumble beneath me with their passion. There are two major nations, the Hindus and Muslims. Hundreds of billions of Muslims cannot be characterized as a minority. We are 70 million in the northwestern and northeastern zones of India. We constitute a majority of 70 percent against the caste Hindus in these homelands of ours. We want the division of India into Hindustan and Pakistan. I am the symbol of determination and success. My design is a gift from an architect to a nation which gave him home after his six-year-long exile. That design which started from Ayub Khan holding his fountain pen upright like a minar saying he wants a bridge to be built as a monument and then transforming to Nasruddin's hand-drawn sketches, I was born. Today I stand tall narrating the story of independence of Pakistan through my design. From a bird's view, I look like a rose in a perfect bloom, lying in the middle of five-pointed star. Star platform symbolizes the same light and knowledge which the star of Pakistan's flag represents. I am enclosed with two crescent-shaped pools lined with red and green marble. Red crescent symbolizes the blood-splattered days of the struggle of independence filled with sacrifice, while the green symbolizes the success and prosperity of the new country. We have been through dark days of apprehension and anguish, but I can say with confidence and with courage and self-reliance and by the grace of God, we shall emerge triumphant. I am a blend of Islamic, Mughal and modern architecture. My dome is an Islamic architectural element with a spiral staircase in my heart which climbs up all the way to the dome. I symbolize progress, growth and development of the young nation. The sculpted petals at the base resemble a blooming flower which sprouted up from the blood, sweat and tears of Muslims. These petals form arches inviting you to read the inscriptions on my marble slabs. Here you will find the text of Lahore and Delhi resolution and Quranic verses in Arabic calligraphy. Words uttered by Jinnah regarding the ideology of Pakistan and couplets of the great visionary Allama Iqbal reminding young Shaheens of the power of Khudi. You will find floral pattern tiles on the glazed domes which are reminiscent of Mughal art. I am standing on four platforms, each narrating a period of the independence movement. The first platform made from rough stones placed haphazardly symbolizes the humble beginnings of the movement without proper direction. Second platform made from stones of variable sizes symbolizes the time when Muslims came together under the banner of All India Muslim League. Third platform made from relatively more uniform stones refers to the period when under the leadership of Muhammad Ali Jannah, Muslims demanded the creation of Pakistan. Final platform made from highly polished marble symbolizes the ultimate success of the independence movement and a new country emerged on the map of the world, Pakistan. You may come and stand on my terrace and try to see what I see every day. You will see the vastness of Minto Park, now renamed as Iqbal Park. You will see rows and rows of green belts along the pathways. You will see the multi-colored dancing fountains glowing in the dark. But I hope you will also see the realization of Iqbal's dream. I hope you will see Kaib's endless struggle and sheer determination. I hope you will find all the heroes who were instrumental in Pakistan's history and the ones who are making you proud of the country you call home. And I hope you will follow their footsteps 
and embody all the values your country holds dear.